Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Little Spit of Lent Year's Trozen Sky the Third. Today, Agate is fighting Tita in the prototype horrible gear that we don't even know if it works, and she's fighting a hardened bracer. Yeah, this isn't exactly the smartest idea I have ever seen in my life. So, the best thing to do whenever you're fighting her is to use Spiral Edge 2, because as a built in, AT delay, which ends up giving Agate more turns. Another thing that you could do is cast Forte on Agate, and that will increase his strength by 25%, which would make it so, you know, you just kill her even faster. But, eh, we killed her fast enough. We're good. I like how the whole thing exploded. Like, Tita was in it as the horrible gear exploded. And do her parents care? Are they running to her? Are they trying to comfort her? Are they trying to make sure that she's okay? Are they checking on her to see if she's injured? To see if Agate, like, accidentally hit her? No, they're not! They're yelling at Agate and calling him a cheater. These parents suck. Check on your daughter! What is wrong with you? Your daughter shouldn't even be in this horrible gear! Ugh! Really? This has nothing to do with the Bracer request. The request was to fight the Orbal Gear and to test it, not to fight Dan. Yeah, no kidding. Get your weapons ready! Wow, yeah, let's have a fight between Agate and Dan before even checking on Tita to make sure that she's okay. My god, like nobody's even looking at her! What the hell? Granddad isn't... The father just left? The mother's still over here screaming bloody murder at Agate for no fucking reason? She is the worst mother of the year. Ugh. Really? Dan taught Cassius the basics of the staff? Holy crap. Wow, yeah, let me brag about my husband while my daughter's dying and bleeding to death in this stupid horrible gear. Idiots. No kidding. I completely agree. Why do you have to fight Dan? Oh, yeah! By the way, let me check on my only daughter! Huh! Da -da -da. Idiot. Well, what's wrong? What's going on? An error? I am error? That's something else! Whoa! Oh, no! Yikes! Oh, this isn't good at all! Yeah, you know, maybe if you checked on your daughter before going apeshit bat crazy on Agate, this wouldn't have happened. I hate her. I really just hate her. I n if I never see her again, it'll be too soon. Like, seriously. Um, what kind of explanation do you need, Agate? This thing is going crazy and Tita's stuck in it. She's probably knocked out right now. Whoa! Uh-oh! Yikes! And we have to fight Crazy Orbal Gear this time! So, yeah, keep on using Spiral Edge, and you'll be fine. Um, one thing that it can do at this point is, um, it can actually use, like, smoke cannons now, and it can blind you. Which is really, really bad! Because, you know, Agate sucks as a caster, can't actually change his accessories or anything, so try not to get blinded with these smoke missiles right here. However, if you do get blinded, you do have access to the Curia Bombs, which I would highly recommend that you use on a higher difficulty level. But, because um, I'm on a lower difficulty level, and they only have 146 HP left, I'll just use Arcs and kill them that way. So, there you go. Easy enough. And it explodes again! Will anybody actually check on Tita? Eh, probably not. My god. We, we've had two explosions, one ramming into the wall. The thing is like, like, malfunctioning like crazy. She's probably going into electrical shock right now. But, where's mother and granddad? Nowhere to be found! And Dad's off getting his spear so we can fight Agate and have a pissing contest. Like, what the hell? 
Oh, man, I hope he's okay. Oh, God, seriously? This is all your fault, Erica. Every little thing that has just now happened falls squarely on your selfish fucking shoulders. I am done with you. Oh, hey, Deanna the Rescue. He really does use his staff, doesn't he? Well, that'll teach you guys to build weapons. Man. And I like how the grandfather says, like, nothing. He just stands in a corner the entire time his granddaughter is in mortal peril. Like, and he's just standing in a corner. He's not even looking. He's just, like, staring at the wall. He's just like, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, from all the attention to detail that the Legend of Heroes series does, just turn around to Sprite, at least. Like, seriously, just turn him around. That's all you have to do. <laughs> then at least you'd be, like, looking at it. He'd just be, you know, aware that something's actually happening. But no, can't do that. Really, you're still bitching about Renee? Get the fuck over it. Ugh. And if Mother Dearest over there actually, you know, told her no back when she should have told her no and actually been a frickin' parent, had a backbone and a set of balls, then this wouldn't have happened. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. Uh, poor Agate, man. Oh, well, that's good. Oh. Oh, did Granddad actually, you know, come and join the party here? Oh, well, at least he's alright. Again, Tita, it's not your fault. You're a young child, and your parents suck. And they kind of dragged you into this because they're horrible human beings? Oh, yeah, don't give up. Keep on going. Really? Fucking Renee again? Yeah, let's go understand her murderous rampages some more. Screw you, Renee. Ugh. Yes, yes, yes. I know that she gets some sort of redemption later in the game. Blah, 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 blah. They're gonna make her so I feel sorry for her or whatever. But, you know, the bottom line is, Renee killed people. And that's it. Like, it, in my book? Like, there's some things that you just can't go back from. And murderous rampages in cold blood? That's one of them. Sorry about it. So don't expect me to go all soft on Renee, because ain't gonna happen. Oh, yeah, the death of your sister, I'm going to assume? Oh. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, I gotta find something, you know, bigger and stronger than yourself to keep on going. Uh, hey, awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got stuff to do, like, you know, cook dinner. <laughs> oh, well, this is nice. Whoa! What's going on? Really, Erica? Really? Seriously? He saved your daughter's life! No thanks to you. The wrench in the groin. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're seriously going to do a second phase of fest- A second phase of testing? And throw your daughter inside that machine again or something? Like, are you crazy? Are you out of your freaking mind? Oh, no thanks to you guys, she came out of this unharmed. Yeah, no kidding. Well, what do you mean? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for saving my life, protecting me, making that I wasn't, you know, splattered into the wall. My parents don't seem to want to thank you, because they're idiots. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Mushrooms, wild plants, and seaweed. 
I think I'll pass. Like, that's okay. I mean, I like a good soup as much as the next guy, but... A mushroom, seaweed, wild plant soup? I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'll just stick to like a chicken soup or something. I'm fine. Maybe a nice vegetable stew with some ham hock in it. That sounds good too. Mushroom, seaweed, and wild plants though. Not my cup of tea. Again, it's not your fault. You're the apprentice. You're the 13-year-old. You have mumsity and dadsity there to, like, double-check you. Not to mention granddad over there, too. It's not your freaking fault. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? Hammer? What's happening? Yeah... Um, if you say so. Oh, okay. Well, at least I cooked it in advance. Number one rule for dinner parties. Make everything that you possibly can in advance. What the hell is going on here? Lances? Oh my god. Like, is this for real right now? Is this seriously for real? Um, he saved your daughter's life. How many times do I need to say this? What can I do to put this through your thick fucking skull? Hmm, he saved my daughter's life. How should I ever repay him? Oh, let's kill him! Oh my god, these people are terrible. Oh, yeah, let's make it even harder. Let's make it even worse on him. If it wasn't for him, your daughter would be dead right now. Oh, Worst parents of the year. Ooh, Orbal Gear. It says that you learned an S-Craft, but it's not an S-Craft. It's just a craft, oddly enough. Speaking of S-Crafts, because, like, look, if you go over to here, Taxes, and you can set S-Breaks, uh, there's some... I probably should be setting these better S-Breaks, but yeah, whatever. Um, it's not an S-Break for her. It's not. But you can go into status, and you can check it out right here. There it is. Orbal gear under crafts. So, yeah. Just thought that I'd point that out. We still have a bit of time left. So I'm going to head on back to the base area, set up my party, kick out these two, put some lower level people in, and then I'm going to meet you on the fourth plane. Well, I've made my way back to the uh, Leiluk Lodge. And I've switched my party around a little bit. I added Zin to my party because Tita and Zin are the lowest leveled characters that I have. They're at, I think, 107 right now? Oh. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Something else must have changed for the time of day to change. I also went and I drank some water out of that waterfall to raise everybody's CP to 200. Every five battles. You can do that. You can go back. So basically, honestly, if you really want to, you can drink from that spring before every single boss. Because, I mean, how hard is it to fight five freaking battles? So, you might as well. Because this boss is a royal pain in the ass! So, yeah. Definitely drink from that stupid spring. I've actually never done it this entire time. So, yeah. Might as well. Yikes! The hell is this? Okay. Oh no, this must be another one of those 77 devils of a Gehenna. Oh, and it flies. Nice little tail there. Looks like it's a little penis swaying around. Oh. How do you know this? Frightful magic. A start of the abyss. Oh god, it's already started. Whoa! Yikes! Oh no! Holy crap! Uh, Weissman's dead. Oh, but it's the same sort of curse. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? How are we going to stop it? No kidding, Joshua. Oh, do you have a secret plan, Kevin? And who are you? Whoa. It's A-Rods? Ellie? Is that you? No, it's Reese, because that was a wrong game. <laughs> yeah, hey, awesome. Oh, how'd you know? Oh, well, great, awesome. 
Sweet! Yeah. One nun up against one of the 77 devils? Who incapacitated four other people? Two of them heroes of their own games? Sure, she'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Oh wow, she's actually holding her own, I've got to say. Whoa. Yeah, get him! Nice! I like her sword, it's so cool. It's like a whip and a sword into one. It's really sweet. Oh, that's true. You know, you really should have brought some of your little friends here to help you out. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah, don't underestimate her. Oh. Yeah, uh, we really can't talk right now, Reese. I know how in JRPGs, all you guys ever want to do is talk at the most inappropriate times, but this doesn't seem like a good time for that. Uh-oh. Yikes. Um, just turn around. Oh, no. You okay, Reese? Oh, shit. What are we going to do? Now would be a good time for that trump card, Kevin. Oh god, gotta do something. Whoa, what's going on? What are you doing? Yikes! What the hell is that? Does he have wings? Angel? What's going on here? Oh, the Spirit of Loa. Sweet! He finally gets an offensive S-break! About damn time, we're like 50% through the game, we can finally use something offensive. Hey, hey! Nice! Oh. Okay. Um, he's a devil. I don't think that he'll beg for the goddess's forgiveness. That's like what a devil is. It's, you know, the complete opposite of the god. Okay, so here we have the Exilers, who are pains in the asses. They will absorb everyone's CP by about 50-something points every single turn. They suck. This guy here is going to be using massive, really, really powerful magic every single turn that he gets. So, yeah. What we want to do, first things first, is just go all out against these guys. Uh, Supreme Duel Strike them. There we are. Awesome. And, let's see. Uh, for Tita, we're going to go ahead and use her Warble Gear. It raises her HP by 100% strength and defense by 20%, and it changes some of her other crafts as well. So we'll get a chance to look at that. And it's not that costly either, it's really nice. I want you to use True Smite. And then before he can actually, you know, do something and get a turn, I want Kevin to use his S-Craft on all of them. Yeah, look at that. Bas um, I don't know if I ever said this before because the bosses weren't that hard, but in order to use an S-Craft whenever the hell you want to, just use the directional buttons and then you'll notice that I'm highlighting um, Joshua's as well as Zinn's little red orbs on the bottom of the screen. If you hit the X button when one is highlighted, you can go ahead and use it. So that's pretty nice. But we can probably just kill this guy uh, using some of Tita's new craft so she can climb out, which is to dismount. She could, why would you ever want to do that? I don't know. You can charge them. You can use smoke missiles to blind. And a uh, barrage of bullets. So, yeah. But I want to go ahead and charge the crap out of this guy. Bam! Tons of damage. And he's down for the count. That was easy enough. Yeah. Pretty simple. As long as you have 200 CP to use that new S-Break. And I figured it was appropriate to use the S-Break in this battle, considering, you know, we just got the S-Break, I feel like the game, you know, wants you to use it, because without using it, those guys are pains in the asses. And, like, the little Exilers, they absorb your CP anyway, so, I mean, you might as well just use it unless they absorb it. Oh, sweet. I wonder who's, uh, done up in there. Oh, uh, is this the Lord of Phantasma again? Oh, it is! I thought it was Swartz Ritter for a second. Oh, well, yeah. Display your seal. Your stigma. 
That must be your stigma. He did it. He fulfilled his little prophecy there. Oh, well, yeah, they did. But what is your kingdom that's drawn closer? Just what's going on here? Yeah, show us your face. Answer some questions. Oh, well, that was easy. Hey, hey awesome. Oh, what, what do you mean? Um, yeah, take off your mask. Yeah, sure. Why are you saying no? Why are you delaying? Yeah. Oh. Well, nothing's good of leaving us in the dark. Child of the Sun? Yeah, we all know who that is. Hey, hey board games? Is the fifth level having to do with board games? The Dream Devils? Black and white, what is this, a chess? Oh. So he really is playing games with us. That's no good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so, sounds like a plan. Let's head on back to the uh, base, let out Estelle, and then Kevin and Reese can have their fight that they've been wanting to have since, you know, day one, whenever she was doing her little robotic speech and talking about how hungry she is, but at least she's not talking about food anymore, so it's kind of a nice change. She's actually talking about stuff that matters. Does anything change on the fourth level now that we have Estelle? Normally they show the changes first, then the characters, but looks like there aren't any changes. I guess the change already happened. But hey, it is Estelle! Nice! Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Well, everybody's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Well, glad to have you back. My favorite. Love Estelle. Aww. She's so sweet. And then unpop your collar, because I can't stand your popped collar. Thank you! <laughs> not a total 180. Like who? Oh, yeah, that's true. He's not wearing his little white robe. Oh, that's true, too. She cut her hair. Oh. Really? Huh. Oh. Okay, I guess it is more relaxed. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Zen and Agate are like, oh, I'm not changing my clothes. That's okay. Really, bitch? Really? You're stuck on, like, constant support. You're not even in my party, Josette. So screw you. She really does have the best support. I've looked at everybody's support abilities, and honestly, everybody else's is just very minor alterations to stats. Like, you know, plus 5% defense, or, you know, minus dexterity, or plus strength, or whatever it is. But she gives you, like, 20% extra sepith, 30% extra drop rates, and with only, like, a minus 5% defense. It's amazing! So, I don't want to hear her bullshit. Because she's never going to be in my party. Screw you, Josette. Support Mule over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, good to see you too. Oh, well, she is the child of the sun, as they say. What do you mean? Hail. Is he sick? What's going on? Oh, no. Is it because you used your stigma? Are you okay? Did the Lord of Phantasma do something to you? Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, yeah. That's all we can do is move on. I think so. I don't know for sure, though. I'm kind of saving your ass, Estelle. Yeah. But will Kevin be okay? Find out next time, and let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.